our heroes had found their way out of the dark and confusion of the underwear. Mario and friends now saw the sun shining brightly against the beautiful blue sky. This was the sky paradise Granby called home, a place of joy called the Over There. Somewhere above the never-ending layers of clouds waited Granby himself. Mario and his friends began to make their way up the fluffy road to the Over There. Hey guys, it's Calvin, also known as Roman. This is Super Paper Mario. We are on 7-3 uh, of uh, <laughs> Super Paper Mario. And this chapter is called The Forbidden, or I guess like this chapter section is called The Forbidden Apple. Which does have a lot of like religious connotations, doesn't it? Army, blue skies again. If we continue up, we'll be soon in the over there. Let's get going. Yes, that sounds well and good, but we have yet to find Peach. I'm so worried. She's fine, I mean, she's Peach, she's gotta be fine, right? Pray, I would I would understand this. Is Jan Peach the lady friend of Mario? Oh, shaking his head. Um, yeah, kinda hard to say, but I wouldn't actually exactly call her his girlfriend. Oh, verily, but the damsel looms large in his regard, is this not so? A one-sided crush then, perhaps? Ah, me, enough idle blather. I shall fly ahead, so keep us up if thou canest. If thou climbest too slowly, the sun will set, so shake it a leg. Oh, I forgot I had no health! No! Uh, life shroom. Uh, we have a dried shroom, which will give us, like, still not enough. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. We have a catch card. Okay, if we die, well, we're gonna be okay. If we die, we're gonna be alright. Yeah, this is a very, like, oh my god, I didn't even see it. How, how can I not see it? This does have very, like, religious connotations, doesn't it? Like the forbidden app. Oh my god, how, oh, uh, of course I can't see something that's above me. Give me some health. Yes! You, you beautiful creature, you! Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. It was well needed. Uh, okay, enough silly voices. Let's get into this. Um, I think uh, someone was saying that in my situation, it's probably going to be a very big challenge, what's coming next. And I think the situation they're talking about is the fact that, like, I don't have any healing items, I don't have any health. Uh, I'm pretty much going into this depending on whatever is going to be coming up in the, in the level, maybe collecting stuff. And you can't really collect health items, can't you not? Oh, I really like that you can, like, puff through the clouds. We do have, I have, I do get some great tips from you guys, and that's, that's the, that's the cool thing about this. I do get some, like, really fantastic tips. And I, I wouldn't say, like, I'd, I'd be able to finish the games without the tips, but, like, it does make the experience, in my opinion, for me, a little bit more enjoyable. Like, when I'm playing games with my friends, uh, we, we were always just like, oh, maybe if you try this, you could do this, or maybe if you do this, you could do that. And then all of a sudden, we, like, have a much more fun experience for everybody. And we all learn some shit about uh, each other. Wait, there's a- oh, we have to hop up here to the clouds, okay. Like, I think, uh, like, it was like, oh, we were playing, like, Dark Souls 1, and I was showing the guys, like, that I played D&D with some skips. Like, that, not some skips, you know, like, some, like, uh, I, I skips the word for it. They're, like, how to, like, get to certain places without actually having to, like, yeah, open doors and stuff. You don't skip bosses or anything like that, because that would be, you know, why would you do that? Oh, Luigi, we need Luigi. Um... And then, like, they were showing me how to play some stuff in, like, these these shooter games that I, I, I am, like, pretty inept at. Pretty inept. Oh, we need carry. We definitely need carry for this. Okay, I, I want to jump on him, though. I mean, Luigi's great, right? <laughs> Luigi's just fantastic. Wait, where are we? Like, do we... I wonder if... Do we have to go into 3D? Oh, this is 14. This says 14. There was numbers on these. I didn't think there were- I didn't know if they're actual numbers or just like... I don't know. Let's go into 3D to see. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, great. I guess they want me to jump as Luigi again. It is kind of worrying not having Peach. Um, I talked about it before, but I think there's a game out there, there's a platformer out there... Uh, that I wanted to, uh, play. And it's uh, apparently a peach. Oh, you're gonna fall off? It's apparently a peach, uh, like, um, how do I say? It? It's, a, it's like a peach platformer game. Oh, are you a, are you a person? Oh, you're a bouncy person. Oh, no, I didn't want to go that high. I want those coins. Thank you, Mr. Bouncy. You didn't have to do that, but you did. 
17, okay. Oh, wait, 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 Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. I think we can set it on fire. No, we can't, okay. <laughs> that was a failure and a half. At least we get rid of him. I don't know why. I was trying to like switch to Bowser, maybe to like set them on fire, but like. Uh, I forgot they had shells. Switch back to Luigi. I've been having like a, a very good time with this area. The, oh, the 18, is it? Okay, we're, we're, we're going up. We're going, we're, we're going into the right place at least. Yeah, I've been having like a really great time with this level. And I think that like, you know, I do understand that, um. For some people when they played this, they said that it felt like it was a little bit repetitive. Um. I guess, like, when you're playing it the way I am, you probably wouldn't notice it as much, because... I guess I'm... Oh, we went right to the door, but I kind of don't want to do that yet. I want to see what's down here. Uh, I, I kind of get the idea, or the, or the complaint of, like, oh, it's, it's repetitive, because... I play it, as I said, like, in intervals. Like, oh, wait, is there something over here? There is, there's a coin, I'll take that. I play the game in intervals, so, like, I, I'm not exactly playing the game... In the same way you guys did when you were younger. Like, I stopped playing maybe after a half an hour or an hour or something like that. It depends on the... It depends on, it depends on what happens in the video. I don't like... I don't like... Oh, you guys! Fuck you guys! Oh, wait, wait. You can get some coins off these guys, can't you? Oh, no, I didn't get... Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay, I mean... I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the coins. I'll take the coins, no problem. Oh my... I like those enemy designs though, I think they're probably my favorite in the game. I'm trying to think, is there anything better? Well, like, you know, always like, always I love a ghost. I love a ghosty goo. If you got, you guys tell me what, like, maybe I'm forgetting something, but like, what was your guys' favorite design in this game? Because for me, like, it's, it's like... I like designs that are like, on you. oh, save point, thank you. I like designs that are like, unusual. But at the same time, like, they're, like, uh, kind of realistic for the world. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of really like those type of designs. Okay, we get a little coin here. Why not? A little coinage. Luigi really is the OP master here, isn't he? Oh, why you filthy cut? Oh, you're like the... What, what's, what's the name of the boss? What's the name of the boss from Paper Mario? Uh, the original Paper Mario. I know it's probably in another game as well, and I'm probably just being, like... A bit of, a, a bit of an idiot here, but, like, there was another boss in Paper Mario. I forget the name of it. Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. Like, it was a really cool boss, because remember it was like, uh... Oh, fuck. It's been so long! It's like a cloud boss that like... It was exa oh, okay, okay, hello, my friend. Hello. Oh, we're gonna switch to Bowser for a second, if that's okay. Oh, look at this! Your fire! The fire burns hot and deep in my soul! What I usually do to beat these guys is... I use... Uh, Slim? But that didn't work. Oh, no, maybe I don't use Slim. Oh, no, no, I know I know what I do. I switch to 3D. Yes. And then I usually use... But I, see, I usually use, like, Thoreau. But I wonder, can I use Kudge to, to, to beat this guy? Oh, my God. Sorry, bud. This ain't happening the way you want it to. Oh, you can! Okay, so someone was telling me you can use Kudge to defeat some of the enemies in this in this area, but like I think people told me that before as well because they were kind of getting annoyed at the fact that I was like, uh, <laughs> that I kept like trying to avoid these guys instead of actually fighting them. But Thrachi is like a really good way. Like maybe if I listened to before, it, it would have been fine. That works so well. I love it. I love it. And the thing is, like, I don't mind taking, and I think people are saying don't use Luigi in the next, or someone was saying, I don't want to say people, someone was saying don't use Luigi in the next boss battle, but, um, it all depends, man. Like, I don't know, I like, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind challenge, but I also don't mind just, like, wrecking a boss. I like, I like, I like sometimes wrecking a boss. I will say, though, guys, just off this little part here, this has been one of my favorite areas in the, oh, we can probably get this little thing if we do this right now, watch this. Just get her exactly right. Perfect. Um, this has been one of my favorite areas in the game by far.
I really like this area. Like, this area in particular, like, I, I always liked depictions of heaven, I don't know what it was. I, I like, um, I'm not a religious person. But, like, the idea of a depiction of heaven was always really cool. I used to get, like, um... Not in trouble, but, like, I used to get called out by my teacher in, in school for, like, because I used to draw, because I saw the Muppets movie. And so, to me, Jesus was always, from that, then on, from then on, was always, uh, to me, Whoopi Goldberg, because she played, uh, God. Sorry, not God, not... I said Jesus. She played. She played God in, <laughs> in the Muppets movie. So like every time I drew God, I was like, okay, uh, dreadlocks, uh, sassy attitude. You know. I do. Uh, I don't. I think. I think. To, you know, because everyone has a really like different interpretation of what heaven could be, which all, which to me always makes it like really interesting. So thirty, thirty is the last one. Not getting to religious stuff, of course. Not going against religious stuff either. I'm not. I'm, that's not really my place. We didn't get a save point though, so I'm imagining that like... Oh shit. We got a... Oh, that's that's awesome. I wonder if we could use that for a boss, or does that work on a boss? I know that like in the uh, original Paper Mario, I haven't used much items, in all fairness, on bosses in this game. And the times that I have, I've used them improperly. But um, I know in the original game that like you didn't really need to use items that much. But it was helpful, like, like some, but some, uh, some items just wouldn't work on bosses. I think I'm too far away from the thing, or maybe I'm just not doing it right, who knows. Oh, we can't do, we can't do our jump on this guy. Um, we all, we saw a door down here already, but I kind of want to... I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that indeed. We saw a door down there. Wait, we're gonna go 3D here. We saw I saw a door, but I already like kind of this place seems very Oh my lord. Wait, can we use Can we use um Thudley on this? Why does Ma why does Mario keep jumping to the side? I don't know. I don't care. We're taking the damage to get the coins. Okay. Wait. I think they want us to use this as a passage over here. But still, I want I want to wait to get those coins. We're gonna get some coins. Why not? We we might as well get as much coins as we can for this game. I mean, like that's kind of one of the objectives, right? Or that's always been one of the objectives of Mario. And in this case, the more coins I have, the more prepared I come. Because I'm never going to do that thing again where I was like, I'm going to go in with, like, no items and, you know, I'm going to learn how to play the game better. It's like, yeah, but learn, part of learning how to play the game better, Calvin, it's like, oh, we're going to take the hit, we're going to take the hit. Why, why, would you, why would I do that? Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Calvin. It's okay. I messed up. I messed up. You know, part of, part of learning a, a game, especially like an uh, RPG, or like an RPG of sorts, is learning how to use items properly, and that's something I, I think I've been neglecting a lot, so... We'll hopefully, we'll hopefully, hopefully be rectifying that mistake in the near future. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay, okay, okay. No, there's one more there, but hey, look, look, we don't want to get any more damage. Let's just go, let's just go. 38. Okay, so th that door, we sh maybe we should have gone through the door. I thought that, like... Okay. It sends you right back up. Oh, no, it's a different area. So this is a completely different area. Oh, uh, what does it say? Here endeth stair three. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel right about going through that door just yet. Let's go down here. Um and go through this door first. Unless it's the door I came through and then I fall feel really silly. What is this? Ooh, what are these? Apples? I think someone I think someone was actually telling me about apples, so hopefully um hopefully I remember it was it was it was a few days back, but Wait, oh, Kudge, maybe? What is this? You got, 
A blue apple, okay. You got a blue apple. Why would I need the, why would I need the blue apple? Some were saying that like um uh, that like, you know, f just for shits and giggles, maybe you should like feed your uh, characters each apple. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like, if there's more apples, I'm gonna collect all of the apples, and then we're gonna have a thing where I'll save, hopefully. Where I'll save, and then I'll do it, because I Never trust these Paper Mario games. I remember one time, I think someone was talking about it in the comment section of like my original Paper Mario series, like they, 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 they called it a save scum, you know, whatever. I don't really care if people call it a save scum. But I did that thing where I, they lowered my uh, attributes in the game. <laughs> and like, uh, of course I like had a, I had a, oh shit. I had a, I had a save right before it. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna, lo I'm gonna load the save because there's no point in me. Oh, I, I, that was the right way I was supposed to go. Oh no. Okay, so we're back up to the 40 door, uh, what ended the third stair. And we're back in there. I can, I can definitely tell why people were like, oh, this is kind of like, this is a little bit repetitive. I can totally get that. Um, but I love the visuals of this level so much that I think I'm just in love. Oh, these, oh, fuck. Wait, if this is like the over there, and these are supposed, like, if this is supposed to be where all the good people go, is it? Or is that, is that even like the part of the lore? So we can get over the- oh shit, let's go do this. Like, if- we're- like, I guess we'll- I guess we'll get more lore on the over there as- as time goes on in this game. We're gonna go back to that lore guy and get some lore. Okay, let's- oh, a save point. Yes, I do! I do want to save, but okay, so since it's a save point there, it's kind of strange, right? I don't know, like, it's kind of, um, it's kind of suspicious that they put a save point right there before a door. I'm wondering if that's the boss. I don't think I'm done exploring this area, so let's go back to the area in just a second. Um, if there's a save point by another door, then I'll know that it's not just a boss, and I just want to make sure that I'm exploring the whole area before I do anything. We got a- oh! You know what? Totally welcome. Totally welcome. Oh, it's a Lackaloo! It's a Lackaloo! Thank God we avoided him. So, 48. What's this say? Orange fruit hither. Orange fruit hither? But where? I guess... Oh, I guess in the doorway over here? So we have like... We're gonna have all the fruits. We're gonna have all the fruits. Uh, I guess this is where the orange fruit is. Like, they wouldn't put a save point down there if like... Wait. No, okay, no, this is a... Uh... I might have gone the wrong way. Not that there is a wrong way, I just like, kind of would like, uh, oh, what's, what's in here? Oh, fruits. Okay, so we did get, we did get the right, we did kind of go the right way. Oh, oh god, oh god, um... Voltroom? Let's get rid of the Voltroom, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, look, here's the thing. Okay, items. Like, we might as well use this anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed... I'm gonna feed my characters... Some of these apples. It's probably not a good idea. People told me to do it. But, like, why not? Do you wanna take the pink apple? I mean... Okay, let's try a blue apple? It's just a healing item. It's just a gosh darn healing item, okay. Oh, we leveled up as well, which is great. Our attack went up this time. Um... I kind of have, like, again, I, like, this is a very explorey, explorey is not a word, but this is a very explorative area, I guess, if, if that's a word. Um, they do, it kind of feels like there's a lot to explore. And those, those, those apples, though, like, it feels kind of weird. Maybe I did the, maybe I did the wrong, I think there might be a side quest, who knows. 
Uh, orange uh, tree hither. Where is hither? Down here, is it hither? Oh my god, like a lose, like a lose. We, me and you are gonna have issues. Um, I wonder if should we use Luigi? To jump up on this. To jump up on this. To jump up on this. Anything else? There's nothing else, okay, uh. Whoa, whoa, hold on a set of oh, 44. Okay, let's 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 continue our search regardless of uh what oh shit. Shit, okay, we need carry, we need carry. I remember these I remember these from uh, Paper Mario. I also remember these from just Mario in general. So for okay, so this is this is the door we didn't go through before. Um I will say the apples is like one of the most interesting things I've seen so far because again, like it does have like Adam Oh shit! Is there a big daddy coin at least? There's red apples. Okay, so that's... So now I'm thinking that the red apples would have actually something to do with the story of Adam, of e Adam, Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? Now, now, I'm, now I'm thinking... Oh my god, why would you fall again? Why do you like falling, Luigi? It's your fun. Um, okay. Um, let's... Let's... Change our pixels to Kudge. I uh, get a red apple. I'm gonna use the red apple on Luigi. What? What is this? What is this appledom? Uh, look, I, I didn't use the, the blue apple on Luigi. Let's try it on Luigi. Something's up here. Something is up here, and I'm very scared. There was one door that was that we didn't go through that had the save point beforehand. But I'm wondering if that is actually like just a a final if that's like a thing. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if that's like a thing. Uh, if that's like the area we have to go to, or maybe like it's the boss. So we'll see. We'll see as time goes on. Anyway, good drop, Calvin. Thanks, Calvin. You guys have been very good though at like, um, okay, let's save again. You guys have been really good at like, uh, giving me tips without giving me spoilers though, and I'm very thankful for that. Okay, so, maybe we should have gone through here. It's Peach! Oh, is she? Oh no, Peach! Princess Peach, hey, wake up, princess! Oh, come on now. This is just plain annoying. Get up! She really can't sleep? Oh, it's like Sleeping Beauty taking a bite of the apple, right? Man, this girl can sleep. I mean, that was a serious roar right there. Ah, me. Pretty Timmy. Tell me. Princess Peach, I presume. Oh, is Lovey? She had eaten the golden fruit. She lacked the common sense, I fear. Golden fruit? The over there teemeth with magical trees whose fruit maketh many an odd effect. The fruit of the golden yew maketh people so satisfied they'd fall into a deep sleep. And I mean deep sleep. The kind thou dost not, does not wake up from for a hundred years. Wait, wait, we need peach though. A hundred years? You've gotta be kidding me! Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a patient Koopa, but I'm not that patient. Luffy, isn't there any way to wake her up sooner? Pray. Wherefore, would I know of such? Ah, but hold on a moment. I do remember my father's words of long, long ago. Yes, he said in the tree of the over there bore a taboo fruit that could waken anyone. Taboo fruit? What kind of tree has that sort of thing? Pray, wherefore should I know, huh? 
So then all we know that there is we need to find a fruit, uh, uh, to find kind of fruit. Marvelous. Well, we gotta do something. Let's go find any fruit we can. So yawn, Princess Peach. All seem to hold it in uh, all hold it her in regard most high. Hmm. Do what thou wantest. I am not helping. I am sulking. I love he doesn't like that Peach gets all this attention. Uh. So we have three different types of apples. Let, let's try a blue one. Let's give her a blue one just really quickly. Do you like this apple? Oh no! Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Princess Peach. You like red? Red is your color, right? Oh no, I should have... I should have fed her the other food to see what happened, actually. Princess Peach, oh thank goodness you woke up. No, she's big! <laughs> What's happening? Make it stop! Oh, she's back asleep. Okay, so we, we it came close. It came, we came close. <laughs> I guess that was the wrong fruit. So, that's really cool the way like they, they play in your expectations over again, religious connotations. It's like... Uh, like, you you know, if you if you follow anything from the Bible or any type of religious, uh, like... Uh, iconography, you know that the red apple is the one that's like the forbidden fruit, you know? I believe the- Oh, she turned into a peach. Okay, let's go find another apple. Actually, guys, I'm gonna- I'm gonna end the video here and actually go and search for those other apples next time. Uh, yeah, I, I do think this area is really cool. It's actually one of my favorites so far. I like traversing through it. I think it's really fun to like- like bouncing on all the stuff and like moving through the area. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>